Just my luck. The gnomes had to be protected by magic mushroom houses. Now how am I going to get them out of there? I mean, I'm a wizard for crying out loud. Let's fight magic with magic already. Ooh, a piece of candy. 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 This better not be one of Peter Griffin's traps. An entire house of candy. Let's dig in. Hello? Hello? Oh well, guess there's nobody home. It's plundering time. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Beware, trespasser. This house is protected by magic. Take nothing out which thou did not bring with thee, or face the consequences most dreadful. Who said that? This is an automatic answering system. The witch cannot be here right now. If you need a potion brewing or a curse casting, please say yes after the tone. Uh... <laughs> Bizarre. Maybe this is my lucky day. Perhaps the witch knows how to get past those magic mushroom houses. I don't see what running up her gas bill will achieve. Let's just take a quick peek in a spell book. Here's the recipe for those magic beans. It says here to mix a handful of kidney beans, some water, sugar and vegetable extracts with the sweat of a frog. Boil on the stove for 30 seconds and voila! Magic beans! And there we have the solution to our magic bean problem. How convenient is that? Now where do we get the ingredients from? Must be something lying around here somewhere that I can pick up. No items? Anywhere? No? This witch really needs some better lights. I can barely see a thing in here. End. Dash it all. Really, why does there always have to be so many thorn bushes? It totally makes a mess of one's shirt. Wait. Thorn bushes? In this place? Because all I saw was candy on the way in. Aha! Uh -huh. A damsel in distress! As I suspected! Don't you worry, my dear. I'll soon have this spell broken. No, no, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Ah! What the hell do you think you're doing? Can't a guy get a few minutes rest here and there without some lecherous pervert trying to ram their tongue down his throat? You were under the influence of a magic spell. Rubbish. Do I look like a damsel in distress to you? Well, with that dress and your hair and everything, it was an easy mistake to make. 
Well, next time, try assessing the situation before you start snogging innocent people. I really am sorry. I was only trying to do my bit. I'm a hero, you know. Really? Don't sound much like a hero. My name is Prince Valiant, and I specialize in breaking spells, rescuing maidens, and slaying evil beasts. Although I generally try to avoid those last kind of missions if I can possibly help it. Don't blame you. I say, have you got a needle? I had to hack through all those thorn bushes outside, and I've rather ripped up my shirt. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh yes, this is one of those poisonous sleeping needles. Believe me, I've seen a few in my time. Doesn't look like there's much left for another dose, but I'd better be careful. Damn it! Sorry about the misunderstanding, dear boy. Fare thee well. Well, we didn't manage to put him to sleep, but at least we cursed him. Now let's go and take a look at this guy. Whoa! That witch wasn't kidding when she said about paying the consequences. Uh, sorry about that, little fella. Ribbit. You'd better come with me until I can find a way to fix you. Though I'm not sure why I'm Simon sure would fix him. He doesn't seem point. like the helpful type to me. Nah, they wouldn't fit me. And besides, I'm starting to quite like wearing a robe. Very airy and uh, convenient. Well, we do need the sweat of a frog. And there is a perfectly good oven right over there. Maybe we can get the bean ingredient and a nice roasted frog all at the same time. I don't see what running up her gas bill. Remember kids, if you're going to try this at home, make sure to use a really fat frog for a really good popping sound. Oh, I was only kidding. Ugh, he's all sweaty. Sure you were kidding. It's not like you do anything bad to anyone else. It's not like you do something like steal a sacred peach dooming someone else to die before the time. I'm not putting anything in there without a good reason. I don't want to risk upsetting the witch for nothing. <coughs> I'd better keep him, I guess. I do feel sort of responsible for this. Now let's add some cola for that sugary goodness. Wow, it's cleaning the burnt-on newt off the bottom. And finally, most important ingredient, the beans. I'm not putting anything in there without a good reason. I don't want a good riddance to bad rubbish. Wow, that was easy. No wonder so many women become witches. And there's our magic beans, all magicked up and glowing like crazy. I hope we didn't make them radioactive. So, now that little diversion's out of the way, I guess we'll better take these things back to the yokel. Then we'll have a pet cow of our very own to play with. Well, it's better than a generic cat or dog, I guess. But first, I wonder if there's anything down this way. Except more water. Really? I can't run in the ankle deep water. Is it really that hard? If it's up to your knees, I could understand, but. Well, okay, it is up to his knees now, I guess. Slowly running along, and this better be worth it. Aha, a cave. Oh, it's blocked. 
Hey, is there somebody in there? Hello? 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 Are we just going to do this all day? Hello? Oh, God. Hello? Is there somebody out there? Yes, who are you? I can only just hear you. I'm a dwarf. Dwarf? You mean the vertically challenged human kind or the beard encrusted gold mining kind? I'm more the chop you up with an axe if you look at me in a funny way or take the Mickey kind. Oh. You think you could do me a favour? That depends. Are we talking a getting things down from a high shelf type favour? I'm stuck behind these rocks and I've lost my tinderbox. I'm going to push a stick of dynamite through a hole and I need someone to light it for me. Blowing things up? Sure, that'll do that. I'll try, but I'm a little short on ideas at the moment. What? Sorry, was that a bit above your head? Do you know what happens to people that mock the Prince of the Dwarves? A kick in the shins? They get chopped in half if they're lucky. Is that before or after they rescue you from a dark cave? I would be prepared to forego the revenge if you rescue me. Sure. I love explosions. Great. Here's the fuse. I see it. I'll find something to light it with and be right back. Okay, don't forget about me. I'll put it on my list of things to do. My short list. Very funny. We dwarves are not known for our sense of humor, by the way. Got a short temper, huh? Well, we've got no mashes, but I've got a better idea. Let's use the power of the almighty sun. Fire in the hold! Ah, it's great to be out of there. You're the young fellow I gotta thank for it. That's me, Simon the Sorcerer. Next time you make a joke about dwarfs, I'll chop you into small pieces and use the bits to make a human casserole. And believe me, I haven't eaten for over a week. You're starting to look quite tempting. But since she saved me life, I can't very well go eating you now, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. Why are you wearing a dress, by the way? Are you one of those Nancy Boy transvestites here about? No, I'm not. I'm a bloody wizard. This isn't a dress, it's a robe. A uh, wizard, eh? Any chance you can magic me up some food? I'm near to dying of starvation here. I could rustle up something. What's in it for me? Well, uh, that depends. What can you do for me? I can lend you me mighty hammer. Hammer? It's sure to come in useful to you. A bit of a naff name for a mighty hammer, isn't it? Hammer. Behold! Hammer! What does it do? Do? This is hammer! It hammers things. You mean, like a normal hammer? Yes, but this is hammer. It's not magical, then? Well, no, but it looks nice. I'll give you that. And you'll give me this hammer, uh, sorry, hammer, if I get you some fish? Yep. I've got such a hole in my belly I could eat a legion of orcs. And help yourself to my supplies. I left them inside the cave. Thanks. Now I have to find some food for this guy. Fine, but I'm stealing all your supplies in the process. You're bound to have something I need. <laughs> 